Hey everyone, it's Arvin. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, nobody asked, but I am taking you to the viral thrift store here in Los Angeles. I saw it on TikTok. By the way, you are getting a sneak peek of the house. The walls just got painted. We haven't seen our walls this clean in months. We are inside. Now, if you hear someone say smalls, it usually means like smaller home decor. Pe oh, wait, shut. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was going to be like a vintage Italian opaline lamp. Like a very organic shape. It's not, it's just a cloud for $12. <laughs> but honestly, for like a kid's room, Chic. Imagine the glow from that lamp. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was like some expensive Italian lamp, you guys. Okay, let's keep looking. Always look inside the glass cabinets. That's where they usually keep like more expensive items. Um, but you know, a great tip too is you can always haggle like that piece is 250 like no no way no way you can always offer a lower price they have a ton of silver wow and like pewter like look at these candle holders 16 dollars they're solid you can definitely clean it up with um i think it's called like a brasso this is so gorgeous you guys oh wait it's kind of expensive i think this is each so 20, 16, and 18. Um, okay, that's a little expensive, but again, you can you can offer, right? And the good thing about these pieces is like, they're, the material is so great. Like how fun is this little snuffer? That's so fun, look at the detail. I love that so much. And it's copper. Wow, this lamp is gorgeous. It seems to be very well made. I'm gonna carry it, yep, it's heavy. Okay, it's definitely pricey, but if you take a look, it's very well made. I can't tell if it's like painted brass, but I love the details. Like, look at the brass detail there, it's 250. Um, I don't see a maker's mark, but it's old. It's very, very lovely. I always like look at all the lamps in any vintage or antique malls because usually there's a lot of like hidden gems. Like these obviously are, <laughs> God, not those, please, anything but those. There's Andrew. I think he's, what did he find? What did you find? Age is all in our minds. Now, if we could just convince our bodies. Oh, are you gonna send that to your mom? Yeah. <laughs> this thrift shop has a ton of furniture and I heard that they're always doing sales. Oh my God, do you see that? I don't know what it is, but it's awesome. And look, they have so much art here, you guys. Wow. Oh, <gasps> wait. What are these mirrors? Oh wow, 250 for that one. I'm into it. Even have like a gold, like gilt mirror here. I feel like these are so much more unique than when you buy something from like Anthropology or like, you know, those like really popular mirrors right now that you see everywhere. Oh my God, look at this for 150 for this mirror, you guys. I, I, I don't want to move it, but I love those sweet details. I wonder what they're looking at. <laughs> don't be afraid to dig for the hidden treasures. Are those dolphins? <laughs> Not the dolphins. <laughs> a great way to look something up is 
you can snap a photo of the piece. I'm gonna try to take a photo where you can see the detail. Okay, next, go to the Google app and reverse search it. Okay, and hopefully you'll find the exact chair, the maker, and I do this with all my vintage to see who makes the item. So I'm gonna try to look this up. I just wanna see if it's by a famous maker or a designer. So I put it up on, oh, look, I found it. 950 a chair. Yeah, so they're on first dibs for 950 a chair. It's here for 250, so. <sighs> that table is stunning. 650. It looks like it's a solid wood construction. Look at the details. Oh my gosh, wow. You can even like switch out with the marble top if it's not the color that you love, but that table is stunning. We just left the BTS thrift store. That was the viral thrift store that I saw on TikTok. And you know, I have to say I did, I did like that place. I feel like you do have to dig or you have to go often to see, you know, all of their new deliveries. But I did like their selection of art and furniture and eh, their home decor was kind of meh. Their lamps were okay. I didn't find anything for the house. We're not really, we're not really looking for anything in particular, but I do have another tip for you. I brought my linen swatches. We are trying to figure out like what linen drapery, like the color we're going to do for our bedroom. And you guys know I have this like Amazon recommendation, like very affordable linens. Well, affordable faux linen drapery. Okay, I have exciting news. The company that I love, they have Belgian linen drapery now, like real linen. And look at these colors. Are you kidding me with all these neutrals? They are so gorgeous. So if you're like out shopping for a specific room, try to bring your fabric swatches, maybe even your paint swatches. That way you can put it next to whatever object or furniture or you know piece you're looking at. I brought these just in case so I can reference like a specific color. I will um, link the swatch book down below if you're looking for linen drapery. I'll also link my affordable Amazon linens that you guys love, like everybody loves those. Um, this is just like a step up. I think it's like, it's like twice as much per panel. Anyway, I digress. Let's go into this next antique shop. Maybe we can find something here. Next place, Antique Plus. Ooh, some mirrors out on the streets. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's looking good, you guys. There's a lot. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is exciting. They have a lot of art and tchotchkes. I love a good tchotchke. Hello. Wow. They have some great wooden pedestals here. This one is solid oak. And there's another really great piece here too. This one's nice and tall. But I really wanna look at the art. Let's look at the art. Look. Oh, that one is so lovely. Okay, if you're looking for mirrors, this is the place. Like authentic antique mirrors. Gonna go straight to the pot. Wow, look at that piece. I love the shape. It's and this one too. Buy fish from here and after what? You put in the Instagram. My Instagram is his Instagram. That's so sweet. It is, yeah, <laughs> this one. Fendi. So cool. It's a lovely candle holder, the shape. Beautiful lines. Looks like it could be French, right? So pretty. Okay, they have a whole section of lighting here. <gasps> wow. Oh, those are lovely. Beautiful sconces in this antique shop. I wonder if they have like, I wanna like find like cool, 
pendants for the house, but I feel like it's a little bit hard when you need like a set of three or four. Oh, I love these like old shop mirrors. That's cool. We saved the best for last. We are about to head into the Mart Collective. This is one of our favorite antique malls. This booth here at the Mart Collective has some really great pieces. I feel like this place has the most variety as far as like styles, different kinds of art. You can find portraits, abstract. And this is a great place too if you like pottery. Look at this piece, like the drapey ceramic. So cool, 125. I feel like Kelly Wurstler would use something like that. Looks promising, right? So many great earthy looking, like what is this? Hammered copper, like little cabinet. How sweet is that and so unique. Maybe to store like your candles, perfumes. <gasps> Looks pretty Colombian. Catch all, pottery, pottery vintage. Ooh, love, 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 love. Iron 225 for the pair. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, this one is so sweet. This little one, how much? 85, that's a good one. So this is one of my favorite booths here at the Mark Collective. And I've been eyeing this lamp for like two years now. Let's head on over to the backside of the Mark Collective. They just have some really great vendors here, you guys. Like, stop it right now with this chair. Okay, do we see the chair? Oh, they have two. One's a rocking chair and one's like a little mini one. See, this would be great as just almost like an accent piece, you know? Let me just bring this down. Like, you're, you're probably not going to sit on it. it. It can just be like in a corner or next to a credenza. I love this wicker with the wood detail. I think it's so classic. And then look at this, kind of like Henry, very like Henry Matisse. I'm very into that piece on the wall. I wish it wasn't so purple. I wish it was like more like blacks and grays and you know, something a little more neutral. This chair here is great too. It's newly upholstered, probably like Danish or Swedish. I love the proportions and great fabric choice. Okay. Gorgeous sculpture. So big. Oh, I just don't know where I would put it. But I love the scale and the texture. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. We just got home. I have a big house update coming for you really soon. Watch this video next, and I'll see you in that video. Bye, everyone.